Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in, welcome in. This is the Winning Cures Everything NFL Football Big Game Previews for week number 12. I believe that's right, isn't it? Sure. I'm Gary. I'm Chris. You can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Of course, all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Make sure you follow us at both of those. We are hilarious. I'm telling you. Go make sure you follow. So, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We uh, we appreciate the support. Leave a comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Tell us uh, what we need to know about these games this week. And tell us if there are any other interesting games because, man, this slate... While it's uh, awesome at the top, ain't a lot at the bottom. Yeah, this is a very top-heavy week, and yes, uh, we'll get in and out of this video pretty quickly. We'll I think so. We'll try to be efficient. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing five we games. Give you, we're going to give you some what we think and uh, break them down the best we can. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to do our picks, our of course. Our limited brains. Our, our, <laughs> our limited, limited brains. Limited. In that, uh, what was it, Tommy Boy is a limit. Limit. You remember what I'm talking I'm gonna, about? I'm not going to re-go through Tommy Boy, but I could quote that movie from start to finish. Every Absolutely. word, every scene, every part. I believe that. I believe that. I, I worshipped that man. I let, uh, I let my daughter watch it for the first time back several months ago. She loved it. Loved it. She was cracking up. And they, I don't think they make a lot of movies like that anymore. Nope. Because like, there was some, you know... Some cuss words here and there, but for the most part, she's fourteen, right? I know, yeah, but oh. like, it, well, well, what were you and I saying at fourteen? Uh, I don't know. I know I'm with you, but uh, what I'm saying is like it's still kind of a, a wholesome movie, right? Oh, it's a great movie. Tommy Boy is great. It's a great movie. I'd show it to my eight year old tomorrow. I she believe that she wouldn't care. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think once they once they hit about you know preteen, I don't know. She's just not gonna have my different different sense of humor. Fantastic sense of humor. Well, I didn't think that my daughter did either, but she was cracking up. Well, that's good. Love Tommy Boy. Chris Farley was a hero of mine. Yes, I think he was uh, of of the majority of the country. He's a fallen hero. Let's the go. show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. You can find more information <laughs> about those and all of the other wonderful things that they are doing down there over at tunicatravel.com. Go check them out. Tell them we sent you. They'll probably treat you a little better than had we not. So, let's jump into game number one. It is the Sunday night football game. And that would be the Packers and the 49ers. They're playing in the Bay City at 7.20 p.m. on NBC. 49ers a three-point favorite here. Yes, sir. The Packers offense has weeks where they look pretty good. And even in those weeks... That don't it's, look great. It's only a few possessions, yeah. right? They're they're not super efficient. Um, I will say this: I am really impressed with Matt Lafleur. Okay, and not because of what he's done on offense necessarily, but like this team just finds ways to win, and they weren't doing that under Mike McCarthy. I agree with that. So, I don't know exactly what he changed. I think he hired Mike Pettin as a defensive coordinator. Well, but this is Pettin's second year, though. Oh, then maybe. So McCarthy maybe, hired Pettin. Maybe like, Floor doesn't have any credit whatsoever. They're winning football games because of their defense. Can they win this game because of their defense? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> this is, I think it will be a fascinating football game. <laughs> yeah, I think both these teams are a lot alike. I think the 49ers are a little better on defense and a little better on offense. Yeah, I think so. So, so I lean them. If we're going to make picks, I would pick them to win and cover. Um, it's just because I think they are better at both those positions and at the head coaching position, I'm going to side with Kyle Shanahan, take shot Kyle Shanahan way over Matt LaFleur so far. So, uh, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think, uh, they, they didn't look good against the Cardinals last week. Um, they still got the win. They got the win and no, they it, almost got the cover. Almost. Thanks to that last second fluky, whatever. Uh, I will say this. I was. I was happy about that because uh, I took them at minus 11 and a half on the show. And then it went all the way down to minus nine and a nine half. And a half. You got it. And I got it at nine and a half. That's right. Um, because, uh, you know, 
on the show, we have to give our, on our pick show, we have to give our Tuesday night lines. That's right. Now, I, I did wait until it got down, and I didn't bet until the weekend for the first time in forever, it felt like. And I got it at nine and a half thinking, oh, man, I got to. It worked you know. out. And it did work out. So it worked out. One of, one of a billion times. I think they're the happened. better football team. I really do. I don't know that, you know, I mean, everyone's going to say they trust Rodgers more than they trust Garoppolo. Okay, that's probably fine. But at the end of the day, he hasn't made as many plays to to win ball games for his team. Yeah, I agree. He's just making plays to not lose them, which is fine. I mean, he's not going to turn the ball over like Garoppolo will. Yeah, but I, I don't know that Garoppolo but, turns the ball over in this. Play. But but Garoppolo turns the ball over, taking chances and making risk. And and when he doesn't turn the ball over, he has big plays. Yes, and I think are. that's how you break a really good defense like the Packers is. You got to get chunk plays. You got to get big plays. Yep, you gotta you gotta get safeties out of the box. That's right. Uh, that's and the I think Kyle thing. Shanahan will be more aggressive in that too, as well. I, yeah, this week for sure. Yep. Um, because you're not going to be able to run as easily on this team as you have some of the other ones on your schedule. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, and they they do like to run the ball. The 49ers do, but you you gonna have to do something a little different. So they are going to rely on Garoppolo some. Uh, but I do think that the defense will be able to hold Aaron Rodgers at bay here. Uh, I I like the 49ers minus three. There you go. Here we'll go so. the same way. Absolutely. Next game up, it's your boys in Foxborough, 325 p.m. It's on Fox. The Dallas Cowboys come calling. Now, this will probably be the most watched game of the entire season. Yeah, I think there's only two games on this, and I don't know what else is the late Sunday oh, evening knows? game. I bet it's a terrible game, too. I'll give it to you right now. Let's see, that's one Jacksonville and Tennessee is the only other game that will be on opposite to this. Yeah. This was, we want a big number. That's exactly See, they what did that a couple of weeks ago when Green Bay came to Dallas. They did the same thing. They made two afternoon games, and the other one was like the Bengals and somebody. Yeah. And so they were like, nope, everybody's watching Dallas. Yeah. that's Against I mean, a, a big national team. And they do it. Every single, not every single week. Yeah, but every every couple of weeks, whenever Dallas has a big game, and pretty much every Dallas game is big. Nah, as far as as far as the numbers go, but yeah, I mean this one. Obviously, it's always Fox that does it. CBS never does this. No, Fox is smart. Fox is real smart. I don't know if that's smart. Kind of pisses the fans off. Well, they still watch. Well, yeah, because it's got nothing else to do. But New England and Philadelphia done. last week. Drew a 14 rating, 24.89 million viewers. Is that good? That's pretty good. Dallas and Detroit did 16.76 million. Uh, let's see. Dallas and Minnesota. Wow. Okay, this is week 10. Carolina and Green Bay did 23.20 million viewers. Minnesota and Dallas on Sunday Night Football did 22.99. Green Bay's got a big show. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, Green Bay uh, had the number one viewed game in week nine against the the Chargers. Yeah. That is bonkers. Huh. I'll who be. Who thought? Who would have thought? That is, uh, that's definitely crazy. Definitely crazy. So, yeah, I would imagine this one dwarfs all of those because a lot of these uh, are New England. People want to watch New England. That's right. Mainly to root against them, I would imagine. That's fine. And the same thing with the Cowboys. Yeah. I think a lot of people watch the Cowboys to root against them. Well, the option's going to be, do you watch this? Or do you watch the Jaguars and the Titans? Green Bay and Dallas was 24.6 million viewers. That was the uh, the late afternoon slate on Fox. Yes. So. Um, and by late afternoon slate, you mean the only game played other than another garbage game. Yes. Yes, you're right. Huh. Anyway. So, move on. Any uh any oh, chance no, we just yeah, we're just we're firing in here. I'm my apologies. Uh, so, New England can't stop the run. Mm, they haven't stopped the run. They haven't games. stopped the run. Recently. They stopped the game last week. I I'm curious because the Cowboys their best option is for Dak. Dak to throw the football. No doubt. But in this spot, I don't know that that's going to no, be the way that they would win the game. Come on. Throw the football, Dallas. 
<laughs> be stupid. So what would how how could Dallas go about winning this game? They need to find a way to run Zeke. And that's it? Ball control. Keep Brady on the sidelines. Keep the defense on the field. Get them tired. And, and yeah, pound it. Short passing game work? Short passing game is probably fine. But they're not going to get yak. I mean, that's the that's the biggest thing. That, what the Patriots do is they tackle. Yeah. And they just, they just don't miss tackles. They're the most disciplined football team in the league. They don't miss tackles. So, yeah, you can get short passes, but – those three yards are going to be the three yards you got. Those yeah. four yards are going to be what you got. And if you can do four yards on every play. Then yeah, you can. And yeah, you'll, you'll get a first down. the ball down plays. the field. Sure. But that ain't always going to work. That's so not how it works. I mean, I'm going Patriots here. I know you are too. Because Patriots the Patriots. Win, Patriots cover. They They're cover, at home? Yeah, they, they cover at home. And they don't lose. Well, I, never mind. Lamar changed everything. I was about to say they don't lose big games because they don't lose big games. Not the, typically. The games they lose are the games that nobody's expecting them to lose. Yeah, it's. But when a big boy team comes into town, they usually well, they don't they lose. lost to Lamar on the road, and that's a little bit different. True, but they usually that kind of doesn't matter sometimes. Anyway, I guess it does. I guess it does. Yeah, because they used to lose to the Chiefs in the regular season all the time. Then they replay them in Foxborough. Hey, like that. There you go. Let's uh I love and, and I'll bring this up later when you're listening to our gambling picks. I love a pissed off Tom Brady. Tom Brady got the win and the cover last week. And was he still mad. Cover, and he was pissed in that press conference. And not because of the questions he was getting asked. He just he He was mad. He didn't throw a single touchdown pass. Yeah. Julian Edelman Julian threw the touchdown threw the pass. Touchdown pass. I, I could see that, and Dallas's defense has not been good. Listen, Jeff Driscoll cut this team to pieces. Yeah. All right? I I think, I don't know who's going to be catching the football because they don't have anybody as good as Gallup or Cooper on the team catching the ball. But I have a feeling that this week, Josh McDaniels, Tom Brady are going to show out. Yeah, I could see it. Um, What's the uh, the rookie's name? Nikhil. Oh, Nikhil Harry got his first catch last week. I, yeah, I could see him being a part of the game plan this week. So, Myers has been the hot young rookie that's played, but he, he had a couple of big drops last week. Oh, they won't go back to him this Tom, week. Tom Tom is a trust dude, man. That's what people talk about, how, oh, maybe he'll, he'll leave and franchise because he sold his house and all this bullshit. Like, he's not going anywhere. It's taken him years to develop trust with guys. He's definitely not going to a team where he doesn't know anybody. Yeah, I think you're probably right. You're probably right. Let's move on to the Sunday night game. And the Ravens are going to the Rams. Sorry, this is the Monday night Monday, game. I was going to say Monday Sorry, night game. Monday night game. I wrote this down wrong. That's okay. Uh, Monday night game, you the Baltimore Ravens at the Rams. The Rams are catching three points. 7.15 p.m. on ESPN. Um, I don't think there's enough points here. I don't either, man. I think I think the Ravens are are sending a message right now. Well, and it's not just that. So so we could we could spend the next 20, 30 minutes blowing Lamar. I I I would if I had time. Um he's incredible and what he's doing is is miraculous. This Rams football team is not good. No. Jared their, Goff, their defense is not they, good. They just spent a hundred and up teen million dollars on Jared Goff. Not good. They've got a, a disgusting amount of money on Gurley. He's not playing good. And I, I they had a good game last week. I don't know what this team does going forward. Oh, I have no idea. They uh they they put everything they had into the Super Bowl last year and then tried to And then they doubled down again this yeah, year. Yeah, tried to do it again this year. And, and when got Jalen Ramsey, they gave up a first round pick, so they don't have picks to reload to to, to get better they in the future. They don't have cap space. And they don't have cap space because if they want to keep Ramsey, they want to give that first round pick up for nothing. They got to sign the guy, so they got to pay him. You got Donald. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what this team's doing. Sean McVay looked great as a coach. I still think he's a genius. I still think he's exceptional. I think somehow he has hitched his wagon to the wrong horse. Well, I mean, you know, the NFL stands for not for long, and yes. people could not figure him out for over two years. Well, you know who figured him out? 
won William Belichick. Yes. All these other teams owe royalties to Bill. There's a reason he's the king, and he should be collecting taxes on their ass because he showed everybody how to beat them. Billiam, billiam, billiam. Yeah. Ravens minus three. Yes. Not enough points. I like it. And and listen, that is a super public pick. Oh, yeah. Like everybody, Vegas is going to need the Rams bigly. It's a little scary. I don't think it's going to come home. I'm not afraid, man. Me either. I really think Lamar's that good. And I think this Ravens team, it's not just Lamar. They are fired up to play for him. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a team be willing to go to war for a guy. I mean, this is this is a little bit like, and this is my homerism showing up, this is a little bit like the Patriots' FU year when Tom got that four-game suspension. He came back. That team was willing to fight for him. I mean, they were yeah. we're going to win one, and this one we're going to put on our middle finger. We're going to stick it right in your face. I, this and is did. L- Lamar, this team, it's not because of hate. It's not because of hate for the league. This is love for Lamar. Yeah. And and you've got a, a 53-man roster, and all those guys would go to war for him. You got that right. You got that right. All right, so Ravens minus three is both of our picks here. Uh, let's move on. Thursday night football. This is the first game of the weekend. Colts at the Texans. Texans three and a half point favorites after that butt whooping they took in Baltimore last week. Now I understand Baltimore is a different beast. That's right. But I told you last week, I don't really trust Bill O'Brien. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Now know Deshaun knows. could come out and look crazy good here, yeah. but this has a field goal game written all over it. The fact that it's three and a half is nuts. Yeah, you get the hook. Um, and I think the Colts are pretty good. I mean, it's 7.20 p.m. on Fox. It's also on, like, Amazon and whatever yeah, else. all the other streaming but, networks that they do it on Yahoo. But, yeah, the the Colts, like, I, I like this team so long as Jacoby's playing. Like, they're a different team with Jacoby. No, I've been on them all year. I've been saying it all year. They're the best team in this division. I think they are the best team. They're the most complete team in the division. They Winter don't have the this, star uh, power that all the other teams in the division have, but they, they're better coached. They're better ran organization. And they have grown ups in the locker rooms, and they got better lines. Well, oh yeah, they're going to win this game in the trenches. Yes, I I believe that. I fully believe that. I think they win it outright. Winner of this game uh, has the the heads up in the uh, AFC South. That's right. So this 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 game playoff is going spot to, on the line. Yeah, this game is going to I think determine the South. We both we both rolling Colts to win. Yes, I like Colts to win. Same here. Same. I love here. Jacoby Brissett. Did we disagree on anything? Not so far. That's all of them. Now Seahawks and Eagles. Oh, let's uh, let's move on to that one here either. Let's move on to that one. Seahawks at the Eagles. Eagles are a one and a half point favorite. Um, it's, it's a noon game on Fox, so Seahawks coming East Coast nooner. Um, that seems to not have mattered in the last couple of years. No, they are like crazy. What is it? Ten out of twelve. I don't I don't know the number, but I do know that they they and this is outright. This is not against the spread. Um. I, I like the Seahawks team. I, I think Russell Wilson's incredible. He is still fighting for – I think he saw what Lamar did while he had the day off last week, and I think he knows he's got to put up some hellacious points. Now, the Eagles defense are going to have something to say about that. Yeah. This Eagles offense is flawed. Oh, I mean, very much so. Greatly flawed. I think the genius of that Eagles team that won the Super Bowl went to Indianapolis. I think you're probably right We there. gave a lot of credit. To, to this, Doug Peterson. To Doug Peterson, to this coaching staff. And Frank Wright walked out the door, and they have not been the same. No. And we tried to blame. Maybe it's Carson Wentz. Maybe it's, it, maybe, man, maybe it's, maybe it's Peterson. Maybe it was all Frank Wright. It might be. Um, and, I mean, props to Peterson for hiring Frank Wright in the first place. No, and not but, that Peterson's a dog. Let's not get that yeah. confused. Because like, this Eagles team is still pretty good. Yes, and they've had a lot of injuries, and they're dealing with it. But every team is dealing with these problems. Yeah. So, so you don't really get anybody feeling sorry for you. My my issue is they just – I mean, they haven't looked good. I just want to see them show up and kick somebody's butt that's not the Redskins. Yeah. You know? Like, show up in a, in a big game against a good football team, and, and let's see what you've got. You've got an opportunity in this game against Seattle. I don't know if they pull it off, man. I don't either. But you, I'm I'm rolling Seahawks, yeah, to, to win. win. 
we're we're very much biased. We're in the tank for Russell. We he's incredible. Oh yeah. I mean, it just uh, against the 49ers. That was the one thing that I said is, all right, the Seahawks are not going to be able to run, which is what they really want to do. Yeah, they want to do that. But if you stop them from running, you're really setting yourself up for more failure. I know. Because Russell is next level. Yeah. At and throwing he, the football. When he gets back into a corner, I've never seen somebody come out the way he does. So we both like the Seahawks. We didn't have we're, a single different. We're on game. every game in the same. That's weird. That That's is never, uh, I, that is. I will tell you in the four years of doing this, it's never happened. Never happened. We we see them all the exact same way. It means we might go in five. No sir. No Pats are winning. Pats are winning. <laughs> Take that to the bank. All right, that is going to wrap up our uh, our NFL preview for week number twelve. Uh, of course, you can find us and everything else about us over at winningcureseverything dot com. Uh, go over to tunicatravel dot com. We will see all of you again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.